Hey friends, welcome back to Blooming with Miss B. Today, we are going over multiplication associative property. So first I wanna go over a couple things. So when we're talking about multiplication sentences, we have a couple different parts. We have the two numbers that we are multiplying. Those are called factors. And then the answer is called the product. I like to think of the factors as the pieces. When we put those factors together, it makes the final product. Now, this is going to be important because today we're doing associated property and in the definition of associated property, it's only going to make sense if you know what factors and products are. So the definition of associated property, associated property is when you can switch the factors in a multiplication problem and the product is still going to be the same. Now, if you're like, Ms. B, we just learned about some sort of different property. There's a couple different properties with multiplication. We have the commutative property where mom and baby or the two factors can talk to each other and switch places and the product, the answer, will still be the same. We have distributive property, which is when you have a big number, you split it up into smaller numbers and you share the love, multiply, and add. That one's a really tough one, so if you are having trouble, go ahead and check out my video on distributive property up here. But today, we're going over associative property. Now, I remember associative property because I think of the word associate, and I tie this to friends. I like to associate with all kinds of different people. I have all sorts of different friends that I associate with. So when we're talking about multiplication, our numbers can associate with different groups and they're all still friends. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So our first equation, we have four times three times five. Now I'm going to throw in my parentheses. Parentheses is kind of the clue to where you know you are dealing with associative property or distributive property. Here's a little clue. If we're talking distributive property, distributive property will have multiplication and addition. Associated property only has multiplication. That's why the parentheses are able to switch spots. So first up, we're gonna have that four and three associating and hanging out together. Okay, mental tip. Whenever you see parentheses, you need to solve parentheses first. Say it with me. Solve parentheses first. So we're gonna go ahead and do this first. What is four times three? Well, I can go ahead. What's four plus four? Eight plus one more four, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is going to be 12. Now we don't want to leave my other friend out, so I'm going to bring him down here. So we have 12 times 5 is our new equation. From here, I like to make all of my equations vertical. It's just so much easier for my brain to comprehend. So I'm going to go ahead and make this vertical over here. 12 times 5. Here's another quick tip. When you multiply vertical, we times up, we times diagonal. So. We're gonna go ahead and times up. What's five times two? 10. Now this is going to be a plus one up here. Now I'm gonna multiply diagonal. What's five times one? Five, but don't forget that plus one. So what's five plus one? Six. So our answer here is 60. So our four times three times five equals 60. Now this is just one way that we can solve that problem. So. Let's go back. So the first time we had four and three hanging out. But now, since this is associated property, the parentheses can switch places. There we go. So this time the three and the five are going to hang out first. Doesn't matter that we have four times in front of the parentheses because parentheses goes first. So let's go ahead and solve the parentheses first. We have three times five, which equals 15. And we're going to go ahead and multiply that by four. I'm still bringing that down right here. And because we have a double digit, I like to make it vertical. So let's go on over here and make it vertical. Remember, when we multiply vertical, we times up, we times diagonal. So we times up. What's five times four? 20. So I'm gonna put the zero, cause that's in the ones place and a plus two up here because the two is in the tens place for the number 20. So now multiply diagonal, four times one, Four, but don't forget to add the plus two. So what's four plus two? Six. So that means four times three times five equals 60. So whichever way we put the parentheses, whoever we want to hang out first, the answer is still going to be the same. The product will still be the same no matter what order we switch the factors. Let's do another one. New problem, who should hang out first? Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and have four times seven hang out first this time. So remember, it doesn't matter which order the numbers are in, parentheses goes first. So let's go ahead and solve the numbers in parentheses. We have four times seven. Four times seven equals 28. Now I don't wanna leave out my other friend, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull down that two times. Well now I have two times 
times 28. Because this is double digits, I'm gonna go ahead and make this vertical. Now, when we are multiplying vertical, it's very important that you keep that two in the ones place instead of mixing it over in the tens. So, times up, what's eight times two? 16, so I put the six in the ones place and I carry the plus one over here because even though we're doing multiplication, whatever we carry over, we are adding. Now I got times diagonal. What's two times two? Four. Don't forget the plus one, which equals five. So our answer here is 56. So that means two times four times seven equals 56. But what if the two and the four wanna hang out first? They can do that because that's associated property. It doesn't matter which order the friends can still hang out. But I have a big question. What if the seven and the two want to hang out? Well, I can't add a parentheses around both of them, but what I can do is bring in the commutative property. Commutative property means the numbers can talk to each other and switch places. So if associative property, the parentheses can switch places, then the factors themselves can switch places and it's not going to matter. So let's go ahead and let the two and the seven hang out by using commutative property where I'm going to switch the numbers around. So here's our original problem. I'm gonna use commutative property. Ready? There we go. Now let's add those parentheses for associative property. So we know which ones to solve first. So we're gonna have the two and the seven hang out. So what is two times seven? 14. Don't forget our times four. Bring that down, 14 times four. Because it's a double digits, we're going to multiply it. Vertical, let's go. 14 times four. Now we times up. What's four times four? 16, add the six and the ones. Carry the 110 up here and multiply diagonal. Four times one, four plus one, five. We still get that 56. Our product is still the same. So two times seven times four still equals 56. All right, so there's a quick review for associative property. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there's any specific problems or things you want to go over, do not hesitate to email me over at Bloomin' with Ms. B and I'll get back to you as soon as possible or even make a video to answer your question. All right, see you guys in the next one. Remember, keep on blooming. Bye guys.